welcome back to more DML. So, you remember how we saw that new dragon in the Dragon's Delight event earlier? Well, his name and his elements have now been revealed, but on top of that, he is going to be the next dragon of the week in DML, which is insane. We are getting a dragon that we have literally never even had in game before as the new dragon of the week. And this guy does have the new sort of dragon body style, same as the Doomsday and Warden dragons. And, I mean, he's a gorgeous looking dragon. I appreciate him. His name is kind of terrifying because bludgeon is like, I think it means to beat someone, which is kind of terrifying if nothing else. But all of his image files are here, his adult form, his baby form, and his egg form. And his elements have been confirmed on the wiki as being fire, wind and metal so he is an epic dragon but of course the most important part about breeding a dragon of the week is what is the breeding combo and it is actually the honey plus lava dragon so they're two very easy dragons to get a hold of the only problem is there is a shared breeding time so his breeding time is 16 hours shared with that orange dragon you can see this on the wiki's table here so we are going to have to deal with shared breeding times, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 other possible outcomes. So, to be honest with you, the Bludgeon Dragon is probably going to be one of the hardest dragons of the week to breed in quite a while. And to be honest, they've probably done that on purpose because, you know, brand new dragon, never had it in game before, might as well make it a little bit of a challenge to get, am I right? But look forward to him coming on Monday. Of course, I'll give you the full breeding guide when he is actually out. But what do you think about that? Are you happy that we're getting a new dragon? Did you want something else to be the dragon of the week? Personally, I am always happy when we get dragons that have never really been breedable before. But to get brand new dragons, and at that a dragon with a brand new body type, I'm really happy. I am really happy, despite how difficult it's actually going to be to breed him. You know, I appreciate that they've given us some... A really, really new dragon. So, um... That is the current goss that is going on in terms of that in DML. And of course, along with him, we've still got this uh, Dragon's Delight event that I have been... I guess, on and off doing stuff for, but to be honest, I've been kind of neglecting it for the second half of today, so that's what I get. You know, I don't get to collect all my points if I'm lazy during the event time, so I only have myself to blame. And all of these flying creatures are a massive pain. Like, they annoy me just seeing them around, so I would rather collect them than just see them, like, getting in the way of everything. And no shard again. It's going to take like 50 attempts to get that shard, I swear. We are just going to keep getting the worst luck until finally, eventually, one day, it actually ends up working. But let's go feed him up until we've gotten all the points that we can get. So what level is he going to be? Like level 15? 16? There we go. Finally fully depleted, so we will go ahead and sell him. We'll go back over and we will pop a fire dragon egg into a hatchery there. And now, without even doing the battles, we've still got 1,500 points to use. So, of course, we've only got 100 points so far. And I have been sort of messing around with stuff, to be completely honest. But some of my luck's been pretty pants, to be honest with you. Like, just as I say that, look, we're stuck again. We are literally stuck for items again. So, we will refresh and... I was just messing around with gems and that with random stuff today and, you know, speeding up stuff. So I don't want to have to spend any more gems. So I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> as simple as that, I come into the, the event for one second and then I basically can't do anything else. So, you know, we'll just hoard all of our points for now, continue on with our normal DML stuff and um, use the points at some other point. Because right at the beginning of the event, People kept asking me, Quacks, how many points do you have? How many points do you have? And I'm like, it, it doesn't matter. Because with Dragon's Delight events, you can just hoard all of your points until like the last day. And then just spend them all then, if you want to. If you don't want to sit down and do all of the 
gambling, I guess you could call it. Also known as item refreshing and dragon refreshing. If you don't want to do that all at once, just select one day that you want to do it all towards the end of the event and just go wild with your points. Honestly, that is what I tend to do during the Dragon's Delight events because... You know, doing the actual quest during the event can get pretty tiresome in itself. So, I just sort of hoard everything, spend it all at once. Although, when you do that, of course, like what just happened there, you might have to come in for two seconds just to refresh. But, it is the way the event is. You just gotta accept it. And I've already given up my hopes of um, placing top three, because... Within the first 20 minutes, we already had people with, like, 130 points on the leaderboard. So, personally, I have given up on my dreams for that raptor dragon, which is a big feels bad, man. But it's nothing unexpected, to be completely honest. It's not like I'm shocked that we aren't going to get it by any stretch. I've just accepted my fate at this point. I mean, what else can you do? What else can I expect? Oh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed, there are actually a couple of deals on in the shop. So I'm not sure whether you want them or not. But just in case, the bundle that I think appeals to me more is this bundle for the digital dragon. It's £4. You get him, 2.4 million gold, and 1,500 event currency. So overall, you're paying for you know, progression in the event, and you're paying for a new dragon if you don't already have it. Like, I don't have this dragon myself, so to be honest with you, this is pretty much as good of an offer as you're ever going to get in-game. So if you want him, you can buy him. And another deal that we have is for the astronaut dragon, for him, some gold and some food for £8. So I don't know why they wouldn't have put the event currency in this offer, to be honest with you. Because isn't the event currency going to be a major drawing point for getting people to buy these bundles? Like, why would you give that in the cheaper bundle and not the more ex Whatever, I'm, I'm not trying to get into specifics about, you know, trying to garner money for a company I don't even work for. But I personally don't... I don't understand the logic. Let's just say that. That's me personally. And, um... I've been upgrading a few of my dragons in the academy just because I don't have much of a use for them. I'm just going to upgrade the plant ability on this guy because why the heck not? Literally, that is the only reason. Why not? Plus, sometimes you do get random, uh, like, quest things on the to-do list. And it's like, upgrade dragon's wind attack three times. I'm not sure if we have one of those ongoing at the moment, but... You know, you can do those, get a very minute bit of extra gold and XP in that. Really doesn't mean that much at my level. But if you're a really low level person, doing the stuff on the to-do list and like the, the special tasks and that is definitely worth doing. So even if I say, yeah, these, these quests are trash, they don't give me anything. You gotta remember, that's coming from someone that has already beaten the whole game. So, always take that into consideration. When I say something is bad, I probably mean in comparison to, you know, my player level. Because, of course, things have different values depending on where you're up to in the game. For example, with the habitats thing, it's a good idea at one point to change all of your low tier habitats into higher tier habitats because then you get more gold more frequently. But obviously, if you're at my stage where you don't have enough room, you don't want those habitats. You want the habitats like the fire habitats and that, that just house the largest amount of dragons. And legendary habitats, I did replace most of my habitats with legendary ones at one point because again, they hold quite a lot of gold, but the higher up you go, the less useful that gets. Another example is boss dragons. I've seen a few people actually talking about this recently, that someone was like, why don't people buy boss dragons more frequently? Like, what's wrong with them? And there's nothing wrong with them. 
They're definitely very useful for generating gold quickly, but the point is, you can only fit a certain amount of gold in habitats until, you know, you come back and collect it manually. And with legendaries and good shadow dragons, the habitats fill up really quickly anyway with gold. So the boss dragons actually become less and less useful the higher up in the game you get. So, this is why. If you're someone going, what should I spend my gems on? I would pretty much never ever recommend spending it on boss dragons. I would suggest you use it on, well, anything but boss dragons, basically. Like, spend it on your hatchery, your portal, up, like, upgrading the elements on your dragons, uh, keep upgrading your portal more, uh... I would literally rather buy Enchantment League chests than spend my my gems on a boss dragon, to be honest. So, I don't know, mate, that's just my take on it, but that is genuinely how I feel. And I feel like a lot of people invest too much money in boss dragons that really don't help them. So, you know, even if you disagree with me there, I'm really not a fan of boss dragons. I was gonna change my mind on that. You know, I've been seeing the effects of boss dragons for three and a half years nearly now, so I, I don't think I'm gonna suddenly change my mind on that. But anyway, for now, I think I'm gonna go. It is now 2 a.m. just about. Sorry, why am I always up at 2 a.m. doing DML videos? What is wrong with me? Uh, <laughs> no idea. But anyway, like I said at the beginning, look forward to that Bludgeon Dragon coming to Dragonlandia come next week. I am excited, I hope you are too, and until next time, I will see you then.